So I'm getting ready to go to Chicago, which is not really that far, um, for a little fun brothers trip with Michael and Thomas. They're coming into town because our friend Jordan is getting married to Christina. And so we're going to their wedding tomorrow. And it's a black tie event, so I've got my tuxedo ready to go. Speaking of the tuxedo, okay, so... Uh, a week and a half ago, I tried on my tuxedo pants, and those pants don't fit this body anymore. But the jacket I really love because it like cuts a little deeper than most tuxedos. Long story short, had to go around trying to match the color as best I could, found a fantastic match to the jacket. And then this morning, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna try on the pants again, make sure that they still fit since the wedding's tomorrow, and I'm heading into the city today. And so I tried on the pants and they did not fit. Not too big, they were too small. I'm like, how did these pants get this much too small in a week, less than a week? And then I realized I put the old pants on. <laughs> So that was like, oh, thank you, Lord, that like these pants still fit. So anyway, tried on the uh, new pants. They fit great. They're ready to go, packed, hemmed, all set. Michael and Thomas are on a flight right now. So they're on a plane right now. I'm gonna pick them up at the airport. The wedding is at the Palmer House. I should let the dogs out. The wedding's at the Palmer House in Chicago. So it's gonna be really, really nice. Hey, come on, pups. So Michael and Thomas and I thought, you know, it'd just be fun to do a little brother's weekend and stay at the hotel for a couple nights and romp around the city and spend time with each other. So thank you, Jordan and Christina, for getting married and spurring on this fun Brothers Weekend. Wait. Okay. And away they go. I got myself a fresh cut this morning and we're ready to go. So I just gotta finish packing. I'm probably gonna head out in a little bit. Oh, Harry Potter, uh, Plane cards, I have to get those. We love Canasta, love Canasta. We are a Canasta family. And I wouldn't be the Potter collector if I didn't have Harry Potter plane cards. These are from my friend Yo. Yo, thank you very much for, for these. I got some fancy velvet loafers to go with my tux. It's like I'm presenting Cinderella's shoe to you, or Cinderfella. Has anyone seen that movie, by the way? With, um, what's his name? Jerry Lewis. He, there was like a movie he was in called Cinderfella, and it was like one of the only movies that we were allowed to watch as kids. <laughs> Jerry Lewis movies, um, like I Love Lucy, anything black and white we were allowed to watch basically. Which is funny because like the Three Stooges are pretty violent. <laughs> They're constantly hitting each other with the hammers and stuff. So anyway, just, just funny as, uh, like when you look back at like what you were and weren't allowed to watch as kids, um, it's just kind of funny to think about. To all the moms out there, yes. I will be shaving my face for the wedding. Don't worry, it'll be nice and smooth and clean shaven. I have to pick out the right card. I haven't gone through the stack yet, so this is the first time that like, I'm looking through them to see what we've got. Um, all right, so we have Slytherin robes, Ravenclaw robes, all right, um, Quibbler. Let's see, uh, let's do, let's do Chocolate Frog. We're off. Um, Michael Thomas's flight is delayed. I hate this camera. This camera is like the worst. It never focuses. Um, so yeah, so their flight is delayed a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna go to the hotel and then get checked in and settled in and get my tux all hung up and then pick them up from the airport. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Welcome to Chicago. So the Mexican Independence Day Parade is happening in Chicago tomorrow. There's cars everywhere and they're, they all have like giant Mexican flags like flying behind their cars, so it's fun. Never been here before, so I'm like, we're walking together for the first time. Really beautiful. Wow. We'll definitely check out the hotel more in detail. Check out this elevator. This is so cool. It's like magical. So this is a historic hotel. I got upgraded to a different room. I 
I'm a Hilton Diamond member. All right, room 121. Ooh, it's big. Nice. Ta-da. Real quick tour. The bathroom, oh, I love this stuff. This is like, this smells so good, this stuff. The room, very fun. All right, I've gotta go park my car now. So Michael Thomas's flight is delayed still, and I can't get out, so like the entire road in front of the hotel is gridlocked. Like, I literally can't get my car to go pick them up, so they're gonna have to Uber here, which is kinda sad. So this is the beet salad. How beautiful that is. It tastes like a basic beet salad, but a really good basic beet salad. Basic isn't always bad. This is really delicious. And for dinner, we have the New York strip, just right here. Fries that are seasoned with something, and then a, and a chimichurri sauce. Ketchup, which I will not be eating. Bon appetit, baby. So the butter is actually a whiskey barrel aged shoyu butter. I think this might be one of the best flavorful steaks I've ever eaten. The butter is just absolutely fantastic. Perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. You come to the Palmer House, get the New York Strip. Michael and Thomas have finally arrived, or they're like arriving. I'm gonna meet them down at the lobby, see if we can't get them in a room. Close to mine, at least. You made it finally. It's crazy to get you. Well, let me take off my little okay. purse before you. Go. Please. Uh, hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's insane. The highways were all locked off. Okay, room 115. We're literally two rooms away from each other. It's perfect. We're, close. we're really close. Welcome to the historic Ooh, Palmer this? House. This is very comfortable. Beautiful. Wow. Very comfy. Is your room similar? It's similar, it's a little bit bigger. Whose room is better, yours? My room's bigger, but I like the coziness of yours better, and yet you're gonna oh, agree. Oh, that's nice, the coziness. No, 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 what, no, you'll go into mine and you'll be like, yeah, no, I agree, I do like the coziness of it. That's so, um, <laughs> is it no. patronizing? No, it was not. Yeah. Whoa, like, you have a walk-in closet, though. I like the coziness. I like the coziness of this one. Whose is bigger? Mine's bigger, Mine's but yours bigger. is nicer, too. Your chairs are oh, nicer than mine, though. sad that we don't have conjoined rooms. Yeah, that is sad. We could have slept with the doors open. This is great. Yeah. Let's go see your room. Okay. Look at how deep the tubs are. Oh, yeah. Is that deep? Like you for a hotel a tub? Yeah, you could take a real bath. So just a quick little walk away to 121. Ooh. Oh, see, you have this oh, I do have this little so thing. Oh, nice. Oh, no, yours is way nicer. It's bigger, but I... I, I just like we can trade if you want, because I do like yours. No, ours is fine. Yours has a musky smell. Did you tell the people yet that all of us have mismatched pants? I did say that I had to get new pants, and I got pants that matched pretty well. <laughs> you need lamp light here. <laughs> the lighting Maybe we shouldn't have vlogged. No, we can vlog. <laughs> I just need to, I, that was just a lot. It was like lot. fireworks going off, every road closed. Oh, like. well yeah, so tell the story. So fireworks going off on the highway. Not just two decks of cards, but two Ooh. decks of Harry Potter cards. Oh, those are nice. Canasty. Wait, where's your overhead light switch? Maybe over there. Ooh, these are fun! Michael and Thomas are directors, so they like, know how to light a room. Well, mood lighting is very important <laughs> to set the mood, literally. Oh, <laughs> uh, now I can These relax. are so fun. Why is Snape the king? Why isn't Harry Potter the king? Oh, it's different characters on different cards. Harry Potter, the ace who lives. Okay, so Michael looked up the the history of the Palmer House, which was built in 1871, and it's what? Known as North America's longest operating hotel with a notable history of innovation. It was the first hotel to incorporate light bulbs, telephones, and a vertical steam lift, AKA an elevator. It's in Chicago. And it's the creator of the Brownie. Um, what? It says, as well as being the creator of one of the world's most adored confection. The brownie. Do they serve brownies here? Dude, they must. We should go to dinner. I didn't. I didn't. I went to dinner. 
And they didn't bring up the brownie? No. <laughs> <laughs> the table across from me had a little plate and there was a little square brownie on it. It was there a little like star next to like first brownie recipe. There was no dessert menu. I guess because he said like oh, you're all finished. I was like, yeah, I'm all set. So maybe he just thought I didn't want dessert, which I didn't because I need to fit in my tux tomorrow. <laughs> Our suits are too big. So wait, yeah. I could have a brownie. You could have a brownie. <laughs> so Michael also just discovered that... 13 days after its grand opening. Oh, well, after the grand opening, it, yeah. it the Chicago fire happened and it fell burnt. Victim. It fell victim to the Chicago fire. Then Crazy. Then they got a loan, then they rebuilt. Then they got a loan, they rebuilt, and... On November 1873, the new Palmer House welcomed its first guests. Huh. Marking the opening of what would become the nation's longest continually operating hotel. That's crazy. Wow. That's cool. I know, it's amazing. Well, history. So that's that's the fun place of a wedding. Michael and Thomas just went to their room. It's 1.30. So we're going to sleep uh, and then we're gonna get breakfast. So we'll bring you along for breakfast So we'll see you in the a.m. Good morning, everybody. It's time for breakfast. Let's go wake up Michael and Thomas. They're already awake Here is the breakfast menu. Thomas and I got an omelet. What'd you get in your omelet? I got onions, mushrooms, cheddar, cheese, and sauce. And I got the same, except I got ham and Swiss cheese. And then Americano. Michael got? Just an Americano. Cheers. This omelet is like, is your omelet so fresh? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, it's like actually so fresh. Maybe how they whip the eggs or something. It's like airy. It is, it's so good. Do you not like it? <laughs> Thomas went. <laughs> so we're both loving the omelets and then realized halfway through, so we're half, half, each half done, realized halfway through that we're eating each other's omelets. Yeah, so we just switch. Yeah. We get 50-50. Perfect timing. In case you're wondering what the inside looks like, there it is. I like yours better. I actually do like both of them. So I forgot my pocket square at home. <laughs> so I'm calling to see if there's anywhere in the hotel that would sell a pocket square. Because on the main level, there's like, like shops and stuff, so there might be a place that would sell one. Okay, all right, thank you so much. No pocket squares at the gift shop. Okay, so, oh well. Let's go see our friends get hitched. Do you have an, ooh, ooh, so nice. thank you. Do you have an extra pocket square? Okay, that's fine. I don't know. I was hoping maybe you'd have an extra one. I forgot mine, but it's okay. I, no, I almost brought a pocket square. Okay. I'm not gonna wear one. No, it's okay. It's just funny because it's like, we don't even have one. I almost brought one. All right, we're at the church, walking in. This is beautiful, look at this. Wow, this is so beautiful. I've never been here. Wow. It literally feels like Hogwarts Castle. Have you ever been in here? No. Jordan and Christina. You guys did it. Beautiful wedding. That was very beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah. That was one of the most beautiful um, churches I've been yeah, in. Or seriously. cathedral. Christina's entrance. Great. Iconic. Great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Absolute perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Jordan cried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Thomas just said, uh, he's like, I said, I was like, yeah, it was iconic. And he's like, yeah, iconic. It's like, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. That's, That's how you do it. All right, so we have a couple hours before the cocktail hour now. So what should we do? Uh, we should go upstairs and play cards. Okay. Football. I'm going to change out of this, hang it up, make sure it's good to go. The reception. Uh, we could take a nap. No, we got to play canasta. Elevator, 
elevator. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's change out of these clothes. Ta-da! Magic. If you've not played canasta before, we learned how to play it with our grandma, and then, you know, we play it with, with our dad a lot, and our sister Laura, and then, of course, you know, the three of us. But Michael and Thomas have been playing a lot, too, with their friends and kind of teaching their friends how to play canasta. As Michael and Thomas and I were talking about in the, the car, the wedding was really, really nice. It was very traditional, which I love personally. I love a traditional wedding. I feel like there are a lot of, like, non-traditional weddings nowadays, so it's refreshing to go to a traditional wedding that kind of follows marriage ceremony tradition. Hey Siri, text Michael and Thomas. I'm ready whenever you are. I just took like a five minute nap. It was so nice. That is nice. Does it still smell musty in here? Oh, uh, no, yeah. not as bad as last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was just telling them how like, you know, we learned how to play canasta with dad and grandma and like used to play all the time with Grandma and you know, we play with Laura and Dad and, and each other. And you're been playing with your play. friends. Yeah, it's been, been so fun. since we were kids. Yeah. Similar to Rummy or Hand and Foot, one of those. Oh, there you are. No, get it off of me. Stop. Get it off of me. You have so much more in your mini bar, though. You have cookies. We don't. We don't have anything like that. How much are the mini bar things? I don't know, but. We <laughs> We took four days to the mini bar. I don't know how much it costs. Let's see right now. Boxed candy is nine dollars. No. Wait, how much no. are the almonds though? The premium nuts are twelve dollars. No. Yes. They didn't taste that premium. <laughs> now I haven't played this in years. Wait, wait how so many did you get? Thirteen. 13. It's time for the reception. Let's change back into my tux. We need to like debrief, good. starting with the ceremony. Beautiful. Amazing Beautiful. location. 10 out of 10. Like Thomas said before, Christina knew how to make an entrance and that's how you do it. So <laughs> that was so good. We loved the maid of honor. Her twin <laughs> sister. Somebody needs to give that girl some sort of like talent contract. Yeah. Then the cocktail hour. Great food. Great food. Very classy. Very classy. Beautiful Lots location. Chicha. Live music. Another 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. And then the okay, walking into the grand ballroom. Did you I thought it was so cool? I don't know if I did or not. But walking into the grand ballroom was awesome because it was like hidden by curtains, and then it's like you like pass the curtains into this grand ballroom. Mm, yeah. Of this like historic building. I have to say every detail, Jordan Christina, ten out of ten. 
town. They planned a perfect wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And it was fun. Live band was great. Yeah. Music Very fun was band. awesome. Speeches were like perfect to the T. Gia, 10 out of 10. Great poem, funny. And Christian and Aaron's speeches, they were very heartfelt and kind and brotherly love. You yeah, got the brotherly Aww, love too. Look at us. Three, yeah. They're three brothers and we're three brothers. It's true. Aww, that's it's sweet. true. Food, cake, usually wedding food, not good. Yeah. Not Sorry, good. all of you married people. <laughs> this the food, was good food. It's terrible, yeah. usually. This was incredible. <laughs> I spilled cheesy potatoes all over my Gucci tie. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it for the cheesy potatoes. <laughs> Our table was so fun. Our table fun. was so fun. Such a blast. A lot of people we didn't haven't hadn't met, and then it's like they were just so yeah, best friends. Best friends. Yeah. Table eighteen was the best. Um, they invited us over for Thanksgiving. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Apparently, wow. they throw an incredible Thanksgiving. We should stop by. Great wedding. Congratulations, yeah. guys. Two thumbs up. Congratulations. Good morning. It's the day after the wedding, and we are going on a little. What are we doing? Like an excursion? Yeah, <laughs> Not really. It's we're just of. going to the museum. <laughs> it's an excursion. excursion. And we're gonna see Sue. That's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. Sue, if you don't know, is the largest, most complete T-Rex skeleton ever discovered. It's very on brand for Peter. Well, we were at the hotel talking about how when we were kids we loved We Sue. loved Sue. And we went, didn't we do like an overnight? I think, yeah, they had at, like an overnight sleepover with Sue. We did go, because remember the woman that found oh she was yeah she was she there. was there yeah, and yeah, signing yeah, yeah, her yeah. books where yeah. did we sleep but her book sleep signing like was the, a stamp the, the, oh it was a stamp that <laughs> yeah. was so sad she was just stamping like, books <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the coffee is still kicking in yeah. for me at mm -hmm. least okay you're gonna have to edit this because that was a jumbly mess you're gonna have to chop that one up i haven't seen sue in probably 15 or 20 years I, I love Sue. And Sue, since I saw Sue, we saw Sue, has been moved from the main, like, atrium area into her own special room. So that's gonna be fun to see. Look at this marble staircase. Beautiful. It's crazy to see Sue not right at the entrance. Yeah, true. She was like right over there. That's very cool. The Spinosaurus skeleton. It's not real. This is a cast of another skeleton. There's actually never been a full Spinosaurus skeleton found. They're all either composites or just partials. Okay, I actually did not know there was a new sauropod in the hall. So that's exciting. That is seriously so cool. I just wish it were real. Michael just said, I wonder where they found that. We're like, let's go find out. Oh, yeah. added to the collection in 1893. These poles once stood in a forest of other monumental poles in Canada. So this is a cast of Maximo the Titanosaurus. It just always blows my mind that animals like this walked the earth at one point in time. Can you imagine like just witnessing one of these animals walk past you? Now I think over here we've got a real bone. Let's see. No, nope, it's cast. Looks really, this is a really good cast. Yep, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the a picture of the actual bone. That's crazy. A perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where should we go? What should we do? Let's go right to Sue. Let's go right to Sue. There's nothing quite like the warm embrace of a friend. Wow, this is incredible. Bird or flying fossils are like crazy rare. We're coming, Sue. Pull the handle to the right to open the mouth. Just 
just like the ET ride at Universal. Yeah, it does. Some of you might recognize Universal from Peter's vlog. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does. Whoa. Spinacodontids have always been a favorite. I just think it's so cool, like the spines on their back. Ooh, this is right up my Diagon Alley. <laughs> See, if you look close, you can just, you can kind of just tell that's real bone. So those are broken up bones that they have melted together. Yeah. Now this is probably a mixture of cast and real bone. Oh. Yeah, so like, yeah, this shows what's real and what's not. Real fossil behind the scenes. Oh, so probably certain valuable fossils that you need to else. Or they are currently like studying it. Oh. This was always one of my favorite dinosaurs too, Parasaur Lopez. Look at some marine animals, and mosasaur, skulls. Look. Yeah. Is this a, oh, it's a cast. Only s about, s I think six skulls have ever been discovered of Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, full skulls. Very large amount of this Apatosaurus is real bone. <coughs> Seriously, just amazing to see. The vertebrae that I have, it's, it's one of these, the dorsal vertebrae. Look at this juvenile Rapetosaurus. Such a cute little humerus. Another favorite, Stegosaurus. <laughs> now this is not a T-Rex, this is a Despletosaurus. Another theropod, a smaller theropod. And a good amount of this is real. Yeah. Time to go say hello to Sue. She's an old friend. My girl Sue, she's an old friend. Oh, there's her skull. Be still my heart. Her skull is so beautiful. Okay, let's let's see what's what's around here first. No, I'm just gonna go see Sue first. I'm gonna come back to the exhibit, I'm gonna see Sue first. Okay, we'll come back to her skull. But let's just see the skeleton. Oh my gosh. It's seriously spectacular. That's not her actual skull. Her skull was way too heavy to mount, so they created a cast of the skull. We'll take a look at the real skull soon, but wanted to mention that this is just a cast. So green is real bone, purple is not mounted. Look at how complete this T-Rex is. And this right here, her arm. Super rare to find those small T-Rex bones. Now here is the real skull of Sue. This is the real skull. This is the real skull. Was it really fragmented? Yeah, look at how like smushed it was. Fully rooted Tyrannosaurus teeth. So Sue Hendrickson is the woman who discovered Sue, and if I remember correctly, it was the last day of the dig that they were on, and she just went for a walk and saw vertebrae poking out of the side of literally like a mountain, and they had to dig down all of this rock to get to the, to the fossil, and they found Sue. There was a big legal battle when it came to Sue. Ultimately, long story short, the Field Museum purchased it with, I think, Disney and McDonald's as investors. Can you imagine being the preparator working on Sue's skull? Like, I can't even begin to imagine. Sue is the biggest T-Rex ever found and was as terrifying as you might imagine. 
so cool to see on the skull. The replacement teeth, so teeth that had been lost, were coming back in. This is an Edmontosaurus skull, this is real. No way. Yeah. This Triceratops skull is real. Real. Yeah. You can smell Sue's breath. Last thing Sue's prey ever smelled was probably the gingerbrati meat. I've had ribeyes in the fridge that smell like that too. So now we're in the Sioux store, and I don't need a t-shirt, but I have to get one. This would be a fun workout shirt. T-Rex hates push-ups. That's really fun. So sad. They're out of the adult size I need. I'm looking for some information. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is too big for me, though. That's so cute. That was very nostalgic, too. It was very nostalgic. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Now we're going to Egypt. Look at some mummies. And hieroglyphics. And other things. <gasps> Maybe we'll see uh, Visenjis on hieroglyphics. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Ooh, that's a nice view. We're gonna go see the mummy. It's very quiet. Is this it? Tomb Robbers. It's gone. Dun, dun, dun. We've got to find that mummy. Ooh, gems. These are cool. So skinny. They're tiny. Teeny tiny little people. I still haven't seen a Basenji. I need to see a Basenji. Oh, yeah. Fun. Look, little Basenjis. That's so funny, like, I mean, I know dogs make that pose, but that's like the pose that Basenji makes. This old boat. So cool. I wonder if those are coil pots. What's a coil pot? If it's anyone, if anyone knows if that's a coil pot, put it in the comments. Let us know. You like roll a long piece of clay and then you coil it up and then you smooth the edges. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Got it. Okay. So if you looked on the inside, you'd, you'd probably be able to see more. Like, oh no, it is. It does look like it's a coil pot. You can see. Cool. See the like ribbed edge. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the coils. So I'm sitting here editing the vlog that you're watching right now, and sadly, the outro. It was super windy on Lake Michigan, and it's like. Well, that's the end of a fun brothers weekend. I you it. felt like one of our siblings. So this is gonna be the outro. You can join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, now known as X at Potter Collector, or on Discord. Check the description down below for a link to the Potter Collector community on Discord. Michael Thomas and I had a great time, and I can't wait for our next adventure. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting.